Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are going to make my crustless spinach pie. It is an easy uh, weeknight dinner, or you can use it for breakfast or brunch. You can find the link to the recipe in the description below, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search for spinach pie. So to get started with our spinach pie, I've already sauteed a little bit of onion in some butter, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my egg, this is five eggs, into this bowl. And I'm gonna also add in my salt and pepper. And I put nutmeg in this recipe, but it's definitely optional. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add the heavy cream. This is one and a half cups of heavy cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this before I put in the spinach and the cheese. I love to make quiche recipes. My son loves, um, I have a recipe on my blog. It's a bacon quiche. And you know, what kid doesn't like a bacon, you know, we call it bacon pie in my house. But I'm sure he would never touch this with a 10 foot pole because it's got so much spinach in it. But once you're an adult, it's really good. And that is good and mixed. So now we need to squeeze the liquid out of our spinach. I've got, this was actually fresh spinach and then I froze it because the recipe calls for frozen spinach. It was um, fresh spinach, we froze it and we just chopped it up with our hands or you know, just crunched it up. And now we need to squeeze the liquid out of it. So I've got this towel here. You could also use paper towels if you want to, but uh, a lot of times when you use paper towels, it they, they break. So, oh. so I'm gonna squeeze as much liquid as I can out of the spinach and oh my gosh, so much. I started off with a lot of spinach and now it's like nothing. Okay, so now we can put that in our quiche or our liquid stuff here. And you wanna break it apart as you put it in just so it's easier to mix. Like I said, this recipe is super easy. The longest part it just takes is baking it in the oven. Okay, we're ready to put our cheese in and this is the recipe calls for Swiss. You could use Monterey Jack and that's what I'm using right now because that's what I have in the refrigerator. If it's if you can't find shredded Swiss, I know that's sometimes hard to find. You could just buy slices of Swiss and you could cut them into little pieces or even a brick of Swiss cheese and you know, grate it yourself. All of that spinach distributed. And this is gonna bake in a 375 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. I've got my greased pie plate here. And we're just gonna pour this in. And spread it out evenly. That is ready for the oven. Okay, here is our quiche out of the oven. It looks so good. Got a nice brown top. And so now we can cut a piece. Lots of spinach. Lots of cheese. Mm. A little Hi, server here. Look at that. That looks so good. 
Okay. Let me just grab a... It's so fluffy. It's got lots of spinach and cheese. Mm. Hope I don't have any spinach in my tea. I hope you make this recipe and maybe your kids will eat it. Mine won't. I'm just saying. And it's perfect for just to make for the beginning of the week and then you've got like your lunch or a dinner or breakfast or whatever all week long. You can find the link to the recipe in the description below or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search for spinach pie. So I will see you guys later. Bye.